you can see let me let me bring you closer life beauty and soul I hope you enjoy the way I did the Monday nugget today I'm trying the photo focus foundation and uh, the stick foundation I hauled this on the bonus video I posted Friday so if you have not looked at that one go ahead and um, I have linked it below and I believe it's gonna be linked at the end of the video so you can enjoy that bonus as well I was saying in the video it it's looking really similar or pretty much the same as the um, liquid one. They are both in cream beige, and so I'm pretty excited that they're both uh, matching. Uh, I did wear the stick foundation yesterday, and I must say I really enjoyed it, and it lasted quite a bit. I used it the way we're gonna apply it today with the rose. Uh, water uh, what is this the three in one primer water and I want to say it worked really good I just put a little swatch of both side by side obviously this is the liquid one they are really close still within matching range because this one you gonna spread it out some more it's not gonna be as concentrated see that and this one too so this one may look it's looking a little bit lighter but see when you shear it out it matches that I would say pretty darn good pretty perfect it lasted quite a bit yesterday with the primer so let's go ahead and start it yesterday I applied it with the real technique sponge today I'm going to try the uh, wet and wild what do you think about my eyebrows I use the, where is it at? The pomade that I hauled a Friday, and I must say, I really like it. It does take some time. It takes longer to do this than the pencil, but for a Saturday or a time that I have, even I have more time to get ready, I really, really like it, and I really, I, I have a mirror right here on the side, so if you, you're gonna see me kind of going there. I really like the color. It is not a jet black like my, see like the uh, pencil is pretty black. In fact, what is the name? Let's, let's do, let's find the name. It is, well, black. This one, well, espresso is a really dark brown. I'm still learning. That's why it takes me so long to use a pomade. But I, like I said, I really, I can't say it enough. I really enjoy it. Love the color. Alrighty, well, let's get going on what we are going to do today. And I'm going to start by spraying my face with the rose. Three in one primer water, again, from the photo focus line. And I really like the mist. Hmm, it's really fine. It smells like roses. A little bit synthetic on the smell, but not bothersome. Okay, so now that we have that on the face, we are going to do that. So we're gonna just apply it like this. I do like three. Oh, I was going to put some stuff for my redness today. I woke up with some, quite a bit of redness right here on my cheeks, so we'll make sure we cover it some more. And then we're gonna take the uh, sponge and we're just gonna pat it. Kinda pat it, but not just bouncing it. Bouncing it and spreading it at the same time. I hope that, that makes sense. So we're going to pay attention up where I've done my eyebrows. I get too excited. I'm spreading foundation, so. But we were careful today. I'm gonna pull it down the neck. And this is a pretty sheer to medium, the way I did it. We're gonna go back and, let me see. Yeah, pretty sheer to medium right now. But we can go back with a little bit more in the areas that I feel I need some more today, right here. I have some spots right here. I need to make sure we cover, and I usually cover them with the concealer. 
just in the area that they're at. It's easier to do that too. That little bit more covered it even better. See that? Yeah. My mirror here looks like it is. Okay, so that is that. And when it says, see, I'm touching it, it's really not sticky. Well, maybe on the areas that I just um, put some more. I would say if you have normal to dry skin, you may not even need to set it. But for the sake of the video, we are going to set it. And we're going to use the banana powder. But before that, we're going to do our, cons um, why do I keep saying we? For that, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my concealer. And sadly, the concealer that I hauled with all these products, it's too dark. I had a hunch during the unboxing, during the haul, and it's true, it's, it's just too dark. Maybe during the summer when I get tan, uh, and we're gonna take that cruise. I don't know if I've spoken about that. I'm going on a cruise in July for my 20th anniversary. That may work better for me when I am tanner than I am right now. So I don't have another color. I will try the medium because coverage was pretty good. But again, it just didn't look good. It was just too dark. So today, we are gonna substitute that with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I am on the color C8 on this one. But before that, we're gonna use our trusty, I say we again, I'm going to use my trusty Boing Sealer Corrector, Color Corrector, the number three Brightening Concealer. Let's call it by the right name. I like to put that first, pat it in with my fingers. It'll warm up the product and help it not look too thick. So now that we have that, I have my trusty little towel here. We are going to, I say we, I guess, because you're watching me, right? I'm gonna take the concealer and I'm gonna start lower that where I applied that brightening concealer. And this color, I think it's a pretty good match for me. And again, my real techniques. What is this one? Expert face brush. I really like this brush to apply my concealer. I don't think I ever really used it for the rest of the face. My daughter and I are going to go prom dress shopping later today. Okay, so now we're going to set our concealer and set our foundation. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna put some of these. I'm using the monitor now. It is pretty, I mean, it's a banana, it's a banana powder it's a color. So it's pretty light, pretty fine. I like it. Put some down here, put some on them. And then, well, whoops, I didn't bring my paper brush. So we're, that I don't really bake. What I have in the areas that I put the powder is going to be enough. Because like I said, it really dries pretty uh, powdery feeling. It doesn't feel sticky. Probably in the summer, because I do tend to get oilier, shinier on my T-zone and right over here, I will make sure to to set it with powder. That way I think it's gonna last longer in that area. I did have some come off right around here, but it's because I I, I scratched my nose, I touched, I touched my face quite a bit during the day, which is a habit that truly is not a good one and I should try to get better at. And sometimes I'd, I'm, I'm reading stuff on the computer and I put my hands right here or right here. So those are the areas that usually during the week, my makeup rub off those areas because I'm constantly touching them and around my eyes too. See, it's such a pretty finish to the skin. Definitely look like you have makeup, but not too much. I feel like for the amount of foundation that I put on, it does not feel like I have that much. It doesn't look like I have that much, and it's not settling on my lines right here. Here, I'm battling this here, but I don't feel like it does add right here on during the day. So I like the finish of it. I'm going to be checking throughout the day, so y'all can see the wear of it 
during today and since we're gonna be driving and going in and out stores I think it's a perfect day to try it and do a wear test here is the complete look we are going to go about our day it is um, I think it's 12 o'clock right now so we'll check in throughout the day and the early evening to see how the foundation has worn I'm gonna get closer to you can see let me let me bring you closer here we go this is the complete look my eyes and my Irish uh, and my eyelashes yeah and the lipstick let's get back over here all right we will check in and uh, see how it goes see you later okay so we are checking on the condition of the foundation and it is not looking it's not looking bad just a tip bit right here a little bit of shine and here but that's normal so yes you can still see everything we just got done picking my babies say hi Nali She's so, so silly. <laughs> we just got done picking her prom dress. We're excited. And now, since it's just her and I, we're going to go to the mall. Wait, wait. We don't have the other two. So, right? Yeah. We are going to have a nice, quiet mall experience yeah. without the other two. Especially the little one. Yes. Yeah. It's. What do you think, Nally? It's looking pretty good. Except yeah, it for, looks good. I jacked up my eye right here. It looks really good. I'm gonna get my nose pierced. No. No, I'm gonna go to Hot okay. Topic and see, um, and see okay, if they listen. have any fake piercings. I'm still, I'm still filming. Okay. Okay, she wants me to keep this. Well, it is 7.19 in the evening. It's been over seven hours with the makeup on. And I must say, it looks pretty good still. A little bit worn right around the nose. And that's when it gets dewy. It's kind of shiny. And so right around here and right here. Uh, but that is to be expected. Let's see. My chin pretty much gone. We ate at the mall and... I'm messy. You still see my bronzer. I look, it's still hanging on. Eyebrows have lasted all this time. I did mess with this here, so you can see some bald spots there. For the most part, it's still looking good. Okay, it is 11 o'clock. Well, actually past 11 o'clock. It's looking pretty dry. And see, it's pulled there on the side of my nose. I don't know if you can see that. Pulled pretty bad there. But... We are gonna try something. This thing, it's, it says is the three in one, is the prep, the set, and the refresh. So let's refresh it. Well, let's see. Well, it's still, it's, it's time. <laughs> it's time to let it go. But I will say this, maybe earlier in the day, like if you need to refresh it earlier in the day, not past a whole 11 hours, it could work in refreshing the look of the foundation. We were asking too much of this after 11 hours. I really like the foundation. I have enjoyed it. Great price. I think it has great lasting power for the price. Very convenient uh, to travel with. So I am giving it two thumbs up uh, today. And of course, I did a prime my skin and then I forgot to do it in front of the camera but I also set my makeup here in the bathroom I remember oh, I didn't set it so I set it up with the spray and I think that that might have helped the longevity of the foundation I can't say for sure because yesterday and today I prepped and set with the spray so I don't know if it would be different without a primer or setting spray if the foundation will last this long but for now I really really enjoy Enjoy it hello and it is Sunday it was a long day yesterday we had a lot of fun picking up dresses trying off this foundation spending the time with my daughter it was just a wonderful day uh, but I did not do a proper send-off to the video and I wanted to hop back in here and do that I also wanted to add after I refreshed the foundation with the rose spray I know I said that there was no way it could revive it after 11 hours well I was wrong I had to come back and 
put up some things before I went back to take off my makeup and my foundation looked really good especially on this side where it was really really dry it, it was really good so I'm gonna take it back it can be done I still say it probably would be better if you refresh your foundation earlier in in the process but if you must refresh it 11 hours later with this spray and this foundation it did work under eyes not so much but the rest of the face it really did it looked really good if you are new to my channel welcome i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give me thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell so you can receive notifications when i post i try to post every monday until next time i am sending you lots of love and blessings Mwah.